Billionaire investor Sam Zell of Equity Group Investments joins me here at Post 9. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Sarah. So there has been a bit of a rethink in the markets about recession. Is, is that something you still expect? I, uh, I haven't gone through that rethinking. You're still uh, negative? I, well, negative is the wrong word, but when you spread out free money for years at a time, uh, you create, you know, significant drag. And uh, I, I just don't see how we're going to avoid a slowdown as that whole process comes to an end. Well, I guess the, the idea would be that the Fed would get really lucky and engineer a soft landing here because the data is strong, the labor market is super tight, and inflation is starting to come down. Yeah, but is the, is the definition of coming down going from nine to six? Well, it's yes, and then it has further to go. Sure. Well, but the point is six six is a still serious very high. problem. Yeah, and still. So still, you think the Fed's going to have to do even more than I, the market expects? I, I think that um, you know I think the Fed screwed up by allowing it to, to the, the you know the zero interest rates to go on for too long. Uh, I think we're just beginning to pay the price for that. And, uh, I, you know, it'd, it'd be nice to say that it'd be great if the Fed got lucky. Uh, I've been around for 50 years, and I've never seen the Fed get lucky. Uh, all I've seen the Fed do is, is mistake in terms of not acting fast enough. So how do, you, how do you take that view and prepare some of your companies and your portfolios for, for that eventual well, outcome? Well, I think you, you basically do two things at the same time. One, you prepare for higher interest rates and higher costs. And then at the same time, uh, you also prepare for dealing with inflation. So a year and a half ago, we went to our companies and said, hard to imagine we're not going to have significant inflation. And we need to prepare for it, not respond to it. So in effect, we reached out and, and changed a number of our policies uh, to prepare our companies for escalating costs. Are you now preparing for disinflation or you, you're just not convinced it's no, there yet? No, I, yeah. I, you know, I, you know, preparing for disinflation would be a very optimistic thing to do at this point. I think it's going to take a while uh, for, um, you know, the inflation pressures to ease. And I think that's 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 what we have to look forward. Sounds to. like you think the the stock market may be a little too excited about this notion that inflation is coming and down and the, the Fed's going to pop. The stock market has a long track record of being too excited about everything, uh, both negative and positive. And uh, I think you know when the stock market reflected the fact that interest rates were going up and inflation was a problem, uh, it was a little slow to pick that up. Uh, and then at the first opportunity, the stock market has gone and flipped and said, oh, everything is wonderful and we're going to have a soft landing. Uh, I think both those it. extremes are unsupportable. What about real estate, which is a big business for you? It's, it's what you're known for. How, 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 much, how much is real estate off the lows, if at all? Because we have seen mortgage rates come down. Yeah, but, you know, think about the fact that, you know, uh, if you had bought a house in January or February or, or you know, last November, your, your mortgage rate would have been two. And today it's six. Yeah. Uh, that's still pretty, high. That's a pretty staggering jump in a relatively short period of time. And I think it's just going to be, uh, you know, I, I, I think the real estate industry as a whole uh, is got to deal with loans and all kinds of things that were the result of very, very low, unrealistically low cost of capital.